Hello and welcome to Leonardo AI image to image full tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you how to use two awesome features to have absolute control over the poses of the characters generated by the artificial intelligence of Leonardo AI. I'm going to show you that it is possible to generate another image with the same pose on the indications of the text inserted in the prompt. If you watch this video till the end, you will be a pro in making images from images on your PC and will have a way to make passive income from this art. Please stay tuned. I will leave a free trial in the description below. Be sure to use it to do your practice on Leonardo AI image to image feature. Also, consider subscribing to my channel to get more of my content every time I post it. You'll have supported my work a lot. Let's get started. Anytime you think of using Leonardo AI, your goal is always to make perfect art. Of course, this is true, but how do you go about it? Basically, you need to make use of the already available models of Leonardo AI or images in your PC to make the art of your choice. It's that simple. We will learn how to use your own images plus Leonardo AI's commands to make art, which you can sell or use for your business, for fun and more. It does not matter where you will apply the skill. So, how do we go about this? Sit back and be keen as I give you a step-by-step -step description of how to get started. Once you're logging into the Leonardo AI page, we have the AI generation tool. Here's where every form of image is generated in Leonardo. Our focus in this video will be the image to image feature and the image prompt feature. We're going to discuss each detail of the image to image feature in a few. Stay tuned. For the image prompt feature, we will learn how an image can be used to augment a prompt. We're going to find out in this video. Let's now get right into it. First of all, it is essential to choose the model to use well and opt for those that generate quality images. From the main page, I'm going to click one fine-tune models in the left menu to access the template platform inside the search field, right? And here we are on the fine-tuned model page. Now we can use the Dream Shaper model. It gives quality images, so let's use it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click it and then click Generate with Model. Here we go. The command takes you back to the image generation page with Leonardo AI regeneration tool. At the top right here, you can see that the command is already activated. See here? Dream Shaper V6. Now, we are good to move to the next step. Of course, now we can adjust a number of things before we continue. Note that because we are in a free mode, we only have 150 tokens. We must use them wisely, otherwise we may end up not having achieved our goal at the end of the day. Here on the number of images, let's keep it at 2, just to save on the tokens. Also, note that the image dimensions come with the command we gave the tool. The width is 640 and the height is 832. You can adjust as per your wish, so don't feel limited. For mine here, I don't see the need. Let's use the dimensions as they are. Next we can make sure that we use image to image. That's our focus at the moment. Here we go. In other settings, we're going to do them later in the video. Just stay tuned to learn more. Let's now upload our image right here. We're going to click on upload on this left bar. Below here, then choose a file. Of course, the photo we're going to use. So, here we are. Perfect. Basically, we want to use this photo to generate art as per our command on Leonardo AI. I am sure we are together to this point. On the command prompt right here, I'm going to write, as in the image, and then we can add a negative prompt. Maybe you don't know the work of a negative prompt. Let me explain. Negative prompts remove objects, items, or things from the image generation. Negative prompts can be used to modify the image for a more accurate result. On the negative prompt, I can include, remove dreamy lighting effect, and then click generate. Here we are. Here's our image. Not that perfect, but not bad as well. Our result combines features for both the image and command. But how do we improve the quality of the image? I got some tips that could help you improve the quality. You can improve the guidance scale right here. This scale helps you get better support or rather guidance from Leonardo AI. Let's keep it maximum and see what it gives. Let's now generate. As you can see, this first image is near to perfect. Not perfect yet, but we are approaching there. Let's do some more customization and see if it's going to improve. Here we have init strength. It informs how much of the image you upload should be presented in the result. Let's maybe take it up. Maybe 0 
and click Generate. As you can see, more of the image has been represented in the result. In fact, the image is at its best. I like the image. I think the image is good to download. When we reduce too much the init strength, the image loses its quality. It is perfect to leave the init strength between 0.6 and 0.7. Let's see what happens when the init strength is too high. See here? I think the image is too bright which may not be too perfect. Please be sure to keep the init strength on average. It is best that way to go. Let's try using the same image but now support the image with a prompt. What I'm going to do is delete the command here, as in the image. And now add my own command. Right here, I can paste some prompt. Create a cute adorable fantasy art. Let's see what it gives. It's even more perfect. Basically, the prompt has increased the specificity of the image, making it even more accurate. Things here are that simple. Why not try the feature today? So far, we have learned all we need to know about the image to image feature. But here is a new tip about the image to image feature. Are you ready to learn this tip? Let's quickly go through it. You can use an image from your upload to augment or support a prompt you use to generate an image of art. Let's learn how. What we need first is to make an image from a prompt and later add an image or two to support the prompt. Now, as we have done early in this video, we're gonna to click on fine tune models, choose the best model and then use its command to make the image. For quality, we're gonna use Dream Shaper V6. Click generate and here we are. This time we're gonna use the image prompt feature so that we can obtain an output from our prompt. Perfect. Our prompt will be create a cute and adorable fantasy art sticker. And now we can click on generate. Here is the result. It's fantastic. But what if we don't want this image? We need to add an image of our own and use it to generate our art. Here we go. Let me now alter the image weight and then the prompt magic strength. I have to boost each. So the image weight is 0 0.94 and the prompt magic strength is 0 0.65. Let's generate and see what it gives. As per our image, we have a new image generated. Of course, we could not have made this image with just the prompt. Leonardo AI does not know what you want exactly unless you give it as much information as possible. Wow, the images are fantastic. I'm in love with the images. Of course, with the images, you can decide to edit in canvas Upscale the image, remove the background, or even you can unzoom the image. With Leonardo AI's image, you can do all and everything you wish. Let's try to unzoom the image. And here we are, all clear. Leonardo AI also gives you the option to download your image and save it on your PC. You just have to click on download right here and you have your image. Let's now try uploading more of my images from my PC and see what results we will get on the images. What I'm going to do now is that I'm going to upload some of my images right here. Here are three images. I can decide just to keep the image weight and prompt strength as they are. I think they are at perfection. Let's generate. As you can see, we have some changes. Leonardo AI has focused more on one image and displayed slight features on other images. Maybe we could expect Leonardo AI to balance features for all images, but that is not the case. If the image we have here is not what we want, we can maybe add the number of images so that Leonardo AI has more probability of making more of what we want. Let me add the number of images to four. Let's use four and see what it gives. As you can see, no big changes. We must think of a better way to get what we want. So what next? Let's maybe remove the image that keeps on appearing on our results. Of course, when we remove it, it should not appear in our results. What we're going to do is right here on uploads. We will remove it and now we have two images. Let's generate. Perfect. We now have what we want. So, that is how you should go about getting to perfection with your results. It's just easy and straightforward. Why don't you get started right away? Below in the description is a free trial for Leonardo AI. Try it today and you're going to enjoy. Let's even try using a different Leonardo AI model and see what it gives. As you can see, there are tons of models you can choose from to make the image of your dreams. We have Dream Shaper, Deliberate 1.1, Vintage Style Photography, and many more. 
Choose one that best suits you. Let me use maybe Leonardo's Creative and see what it gives me. So, we click on Leonardo Creative and then Generate. There we are. So as you can see, too much creativity has been included in the image. If you are that person who wants creative images, go for Leonardo Creative. Actually, I could urge you to try as many commands as you can and make use of one that best fits you. So far, so good. We are now familiar with everything we need to know about the image to image feature in Leonardo AI. If you have been following through the video, you are now a pro with this feature. But how do you monetize the skill? I'm here to let you know how you can do so. Just stay tuned. Sites to sell art from Leonardo AI include Etsy, Printify, and Redbubble. Etsy is an online marketplace where people can sell handmade, vintage, and unique items. Artists can create their own shop on Etsy to display their art and sell it directly to customers. An account costs 20 cents per listing and users are charged a 5% transaction fee for each sale made. Additionally, Etsy provides tools for marketing and analytics that can help an artist reach a wider audience. As you can see right here, we have a section for art and collectibles. So, here are tons of art that you can make in the comfort of your home. We have glass art, photography, dolls, and many more. Let's click here on all art and collectibles to access all the art on the platform. Here we have over 12 million results that have been posted by artists on the platform. You can see we have groups for painting, do-it-yourself, photography, and more. As we scroll down, you can see how they pay at Etsy. Not bad. Like this first one here, 300 plant stamps for Procreate. It's 3 USD. Considering the little effort you put in to make the image, it's worth it. Now imagine making tons of images per day. Good money it is. Try the feature today. You're going to have much fun and make money. To get started, you just have to sign up for an account and start making money. We can now look at the second platform, Redbubble. It is a popular online marketplace for independent artists that specializes in selling prints, apparel, and other products featuring art and designs. Artists can upload their art, add it to products, and then sell it on Redbubble. They can also benefit from Redbubble's extensive collection of products, which includes clothing, phone cases, stickers, and more. Additionally, Redbubble offers tracking and analytics that help artists find out how their products are performing and how to improve sales. Let's see how it works. See how user-friendly the interface looks like. Very attractive. Thousands of artists are making money via the platform in the comfort of their homes. What do you need to get started? You just need to sign up as an artist including your email and password. It's that simple. And here you are. On this platform, you can create products, set up a shop, and get paid directly from the account. This is based on when your products make sales. The platform is that easy and straightforward to use. Don't be unemployed when there are such chances to make money. Pick up your laptop and start earning. It does not matter whether you are an individual or a corporate. Your little effort and commitment matter most. Let's now have a brief look at Printify. It is a web-based platform and print-on-demand service that enables artists to create and sell their products online. Printify uses high-quality printers that provide custom printing on apparel and other items. It also integrates with popular e-commerce solutions such as Shopify and WooCommerce, making it easy for artists to start selling right away. With Printify, artists can upload their artwork, customize products, add pricing information, and make sales with minimal effort. To get started, you just have to sign up into the account and start earning immediately. I do hope that you are able to learn a lot from this tutorial. Don't let the opportunity of making money slip away. Try the feature now for free and enjoy making art with artificial intelligence. That's the wrap. If you found this video helpful, please hit the subscription button below. I will also leave a free trial in the description below, so be sure to use it to learn more about Leonardo AI image-to-image -image feature. Till next time, goodbye.